Hi, I'm Lisa Murphy, and I'm the Ooey Gooey Lady, and I'm back again because a good friend of mine named Barbara um, posted on our Ooey Gooey Inc. fan Facebook page a uh, no-cook Play-Doh recipe, and Barbara knows very well that I have yet to find one that I absolutely love that doesn't dry out within three days. So we are doing it live. I've never made this before. Full disclosure, we'll all learn something a little new here this evening. Um, so the recipe is actually really simple, but I am going out on a limb right away and doubling it. Doubling it. So I'm reading it right here, but it's going to look backwards to you, so I'm not going to hold it up because that might make somebody kind of crazy. Um, but I, you need a half a cup of rice flour. You need a half a cup of cornstarch. You need a half a cup of salt and a teaspoon of oil. Barbara specifically said to use canola oil. I don't have any canola oil, um, but I'm using vegetable oil because this is also a gluten-free recipe and vegetable oil is naturally gluten-free. So we're going to go ahead and make that one minor substitution. But I'm going to double it. So I'm using one cup of rice flour, one cup of cornstarch, one cup of salt, one teaspoon of oil, and then, oh, I forgot to tell you, then you need um, one cup of warm water that you're going to pour in very slowly to mix it together. And Barbara did say that you probably won't use all the water. Okay? So let's go. Okay, here we go. So first things first, um, I have my one cup of rice flour which I get, um, I have an international food aisle at my grocery store, so I was able to get hooked up with that pretty easily. So I have one cup, because I'm doubling it, remember. Now Barbara's recipe said a half, but we're going to double it here tonight. So I've got my one cup of rice flour. Um, and then I have my really basic cornstarch, doubling it, right? So I have one cup of cornstarch. I have my one cup of salt, because I'm doubling it. And then we're going to do two teaspoons of oil. Remember, she called for canola, but I have vegetable. So we've got one, two teaspoons of oil. And then um, because I'm doubling it, remember, I'm going to use one cup of warm water, which I wanted to make right away. So I will, I'll turn this so you can watch me. I'm just running it right from my tap, right from the tap. I'm going to let it get warm. Let it get warm. Let it get warm. Okay, fill up my little cup one cup of warm water and then she said to stir it and and mix it stir it and mix it hold on let me change the monitor down here so you can see what I'm doing so I'm stirring and I'm starting to mix and I'm stirring and and I'm starting to mix stirring and mixing I'm stirring and mixing I'm stirring and mixing I'm gonna add a little bit more water there Stir and mix, stir and mix, stir and mix. It, it's possible that because we doubled it, we will need all the water. I'm squeezing it. I'm stirring it. I am going to pour the rest of this water in. Um, so far, it's 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 coming together quite nicely. Kind of feels a little bit like a um, like a like a cookie dough. That's what it's feeling a little bit like. There you go. Can you see that? I didn't color it because I just wanted to see what it felt like. I just poured some more water in. Wanted to see what it looked like on its own. So she said to pretty much stir it up, mix it up, and then give it a nice knead. This is actually, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Doesn't feel dry. Feels very moist. Um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to dump it out on the counter here though in a second. Get it out of the bowl. Ooh, you know what, though? I think I might have just overdid it with the water. I don't think I needed that last little bit of water that I just put in. Okay, I'm going to lift it out. Oh, no, this feels good. Okay, now I'm guessing this is a little runny because that last little bit of water that I put in uh, was not necessary. I, I got a little over anxious. But I'm going to move the bowl. That's got some extra in it. Um, and put it down here on the the counter so you can kind of see what it's doing. Um, now because it's a little moist, I'm going to do exactly what I would do if I was making cooked Play-Doh, which is adding a little bit of, you're right, more flour. So I have a little bit of rice flour, sprinkle some of that um, on it, just to kind of compensate for the fact that I added too much water. Kneading that around here, move my hand away so you can see. Oh yeah, that firm back up, oh wow. Wow, this is this is good, Barbara. So 
So there you go. No cook Play-Doh. Feels great. Feels great. Easy to clean up. Easy to make. Um, very memor me sorry memorizable rem uh, recipe, which is I'm really big on that. So that in the heat of the moment, you're not like, where is the book? So sometimes you just got to memorize them. This is beautiful. Um, I love it without the color. Very easily could add some more color to it. Um, I actually have some kids coming over tomorrow, so we'll put it to the true test. And uh, maybe I'll take some footage of them playing with it and do a follow-up. So Barbara, score. Good work. Everybody. Okay, well, let me say it one more time. What do you need? Um, you need one cup of rice flour, one cup of cornstarch, one cup of salt, one teaspoon, excuse me, two teaspoons of oil, and one cup of warm water, and you won't need it all. Excellent. Have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oopsie. Hold on. Something just popped up. It's like bloopers. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good night.